okay. Uh, I'm gonna be taking a break from uh, endless mode here because I'm, uh, it's just taking too long and I'll just do it on my own time. As you see, um, I got a couple new flowers. These guys can't get anything because they're, uh, well, I need the water one and I need the nighttime one, which I'm slowly working on getting. So let's just feed our cocoa bean here. I like it also go feed the wisdom tree. So I, did, I think I bought some new uh, feed for it. Are right, you gonna? Let's go to this the other tree. Oh, I did not buy it. So okay, never mind. Well, while we wait, um, I need to go buy some rakes. Because I plan on tackling some mini games again. So there we go. Went to the main menu. And now I'm gonna go tackle the botany. And hopefully Tonker also lots of bananas and physical. Wish me luck. Okay, we're gonna do the botany. I looked up what I was doing wrong. Also, this is in post-production because I wasn't too sure if I would make it or not, so we grab sun, we get grab walnuts. Uh, snow pea, snow pea shooter, repeater, uh, potato mine, squash, torchwood, and then I wasn't too sure what else I should grab because I did have two additional slot, uh, slots, so I went with this double sunflower and then uh, I'm trying to figure out what else I should go with, like an instant death, which I do with cherries, and then I'm just reconsidering my thoughts. So what I was doing wrong is because since I was doing two columns, Originally, I was pretty much setting myself up for death, so you're supposed to stick it into one column for the first little bit. Since we know that the uh, zombie is going to be coming down from the, lo the last lane down at the bottom, we can have much time to keep preparation and then defend our sunflower row with a walnut at the end. Which, uh, it's recommended, uh, it's like six, uh, the sixth uh, spot, so it seemed like a reasonable amount of space, so. And then you just build up your fortress and put down potato mines at the far end, so it gives it time to char uh, wake up or get in place. Just collect this on waiting for the zombie to make, meet its imminent death. And once we get enough time, we start building up the second row. 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 Not row. So our potato mines and squashes are our best friend in this level, aside from the and aside from the walnuts, of course. send in my repeater. Little did I know that I actually put it in the wrong spot, but I was gonna put it in the third slot, then a torch room, and then a snow peter, so that, uh, uh so that, uh, the snow peter's, uh, ice shot wouldn't melt. And also, that was a pretty good shot block with my walnut there to protect the sunflower. Now we're growing again more sunflowers, get more repeaters. And then I realize, oh hey, I, I should really have something defending this lane. So it's end of the squash for the time being. And the potato mine. And then I think uh was it while collecting? I am trying to figure out what I should do regarding the other well, aside from making a spot for the repeater. And then I realized that, oh, I need to use bomb, so there we go. Save that potato one for another one. Sit a spot right behind the other walnut. Then I realized, hey, I to replace the two that I uh, got rid of. Or one to be getting rid of. Well, I really should put in another repeater 
down and a walnut to replace my top one. But I don't do that. Got more people coming in. Finally, defend the top row with every here. Boom. Put a squash down for the time being. So, and then start on the fourth row. Squash. Handy dandy squash. And that's when I realized that I might have screwed up on my layout <laughs> regarding the repeaters and the uh, torch wood. And for some reason I thought it was a smart idea to stick the pay mine in front of the walnut. It wasn't. It would have probably been better to stick it behind it just in case the walnut fell, but that would have been unlikely because I was usually on top of that. And I thought I needed a squash. But what is worse? The walnut heads? Or double the uh, computers? Double the computers apparently. It. And we got another walnut head coming in. So it's like, okay, I should probably do something about that. I quite another one, and then I realized that, oh, I should have probably got a walnut. There was something that killed them both. So Squash comes in and rescues the day. And then proceed to go put a walnut back up. So let's find him with some flowers. And a slow feeder. Finally get that rid of that last one that I don't need in the row anymore. And I also realized that, oh no, there's a top walnut coming towards my already broken one. I need to repair it soon, or just send in another repeater. And then I decide, oh, guess what, I'm gonna fix my walnut right in front of you. That thing is so handy. And then decide to put in another ice peter because so many wall three walnut heads in a row? Ridiculous. Yep, they're right there. And a repeater. And a huge wave is gonna be coming soon. Zombies are appearing, approaching. Get all the sun I can. Run a wave. Pretty much ready. Never really felt this. I don't know such a felt this idea. And so now I don't really have much aside from collecting more sun and possibly making more sunflowers if I felt like it. Or a cherry bomb too, which that was really unnecessary. <laughs> and we win! Yay! Alright, let's start on Visigul! So, I hate this level because our enemies are invisible, and we got the 
we're, we're limited with the, the conveyor belt, so we need to plant as many pea shears at the back, holding off on ice shrooms. Uh, walnuts doing the same, but we're gonna keep it six spaces up to acquire us more space, even though I put it, probably shouldn't have put it in the row where the, rake zomb uh, the zombie ward that is gonna get hit by the rake. But my placement on the pea shooter was a good idea. And we're gonna go put another one down on the other lane that isn't protected. Uh, luckily we don't have to deal with pond zombies very much so far. Waiting for another pea shooter to come along. Keeping the squashes for emergency cases too. Here it is numbing away so I'm like, okay squash, go disintegrate. Also, uh, the squat we uh, based on the sound I'm hearing while playing too. Pardon me. Um, if one is wearing a helmet and I can tell which wire it's coming from, I would use a squash to get rid of it. Or in this case, trying to protect my walnut. So I hear the tingy, and I'm like, okay, that's not good. I'm gonna stash that in front of my squat uh, in front of my uh, pea-shirt because I know it won't be able to take it down. That's a good way to defend your shooters. And there it goes. I haven't found, I haven't gotten anything for the lilies yet. Cardipult, so I figured, okay, I don't have any defense on the water yet, so I might as well put one there. Another walnut, my that on the water too. Or ice shrooms that I could use, but I won't. And another squash. I'm hearing mostly cone zombies right now. I wasn't too sure about one in the bottom row. Walnut. Which it gets munched on immediately. Oh, then I hear the pinging of the uh, uh, middle zombie, so I'm like, okay, I need to. Make sure it's uh, covered. Yeah. My walnuts are not looking too good, but it's not like I can do much about it. Um. <laughs> like, yay, another pea shooter. Okay, I should probably put on the lilies. I think the ice shroom only has a certain range, but I'm not too sure. Or I, there was no zombies on, and I wasn't too sure if there was or not. So I wanted to put the corn pulp. Figured I'd stick it with my walnut because it doesn't have um, any protection. Then I realized, oh, one's getting really close, and I think it's a metal one. I think I should use a shroom. I'll stop it and hopefully protect my shrooms or shrooms plants. <laughs> Figure out where it needs to be disposed of it, so I didn't have to worry too much. Spreading out more blue had to blue off water. Need more of them. So I figured I had too many at the time. That will bite me back in the ass later. That was way too early. Well, I guess I was worried about the metal zombie that I heard the pain from and I didn't have a squash to deal with it. Until now. And a dolphin zombie just jumped over the wall. Some bonies, and bonies also reserved for the squash. So I'll dispose of it easily. And then another pea shooter to make sure. Squash comes in the time. Rescue. Spoon. Good old squash. And there's Jack in the boxes. Don't know where it's coming from. <sighs> so I'm like, great, where does it come from? What's gonna take out? Hopefully it won't take out much. Tech things. 
butter everything. So I just go for more weaker areas. And then that jack and box took out my walnut. And then we took out the other walnut. So I was like, ah, oh, damn it. Walnuts are not very easy to come by. Ice them! Do an idea of where they are. I'm trying to figure out. I need to. Put, uh, I took away that squash because I need room for the future to get back. And I'm like, oh damn it! I shouldn't have moved it. Or have removed it, but it was down the bottom lane, so I'm like, squash to the rescue! Oh, do! There's another jack in the box, which I'm dreading. I'm not too sure what lane to put it into. Apparently it's being chewed on. And there's another one, no wonder. Hopefully we will finish it. No, another pea shooter! Come on, give me another one. Or a squash. Squash does fine for the Zamboni. Oh no, the pea shooter's getting numb done. And I accept the fact that I'm gonna lose the second row because I can't do anything again about it. Just make sure I can defend it. Ice shroom, see where everything is. Our solo lily pad that's going to be taking up space in the near future. But hold on to it. Hold on to the squash. This is the last one that this goes up right now. And then, finally, waiting for things to come over and decide to go. You know what? I'm just going to shroom them. And also squash the zamboni. Oh, and that other zombie was close enough. See more things getting buttered. Nice. Some the walnuts. Shoot another. Get an idea where they are. Trying to figure out who would need more protection. Let's squash him. When he gets close enough. There he goes, and we win! Happy! Let's do whack a mole, because that one looks like fun. And you know how good I was at it. Back when the, we did this in story mode. Heads off. Way to get money. Get away from Yes, keep it further back. I'm fine. Perfectly okay with that.
skip that one further back. No. Don't make me use the shroom! I will use the shroom! No. I always like the whack-a-mole slash whack -a gator or crazy gators uh, thing. No! Holy shit! Ah! Yes, I know. No. <sighs> My fingers are hurting from... Oh, that- I started feeling that right at the end! I should've probably wiped out some more pro uh, gravestones with them in the end, but... Ah, oh, they were coming too fast. And now, last stand, and there's- I need to beat one more mini game after this to have another. So, uh, got enough for, uh, for one of the new gardens. <laughs> So I can buy the mushroom one or the aquarium one. And we have one of both. Let's go to aquarium. Now I can go back to the sand garden. Oh, also the chocolate is for the snail. So let's go to our other garden. Oh, I to move my plants I have to buy a wheelbarrow barrel. How much is the wheelbarrow? Two hundred bucks. Yes. There. And now it can grow up. So now we have a uh, wooden head, but I'm gonna put it higher since it kind of looks weird in there. I guess the bottom would be the best place for the wooden head. All right. Um. So yeah. Now we just have to get. Thirty more thousand for that. And yeah, don't have enough food yet. Um, and there's much money, other money. I'm gonna have to figure out so some way to get more money. 